Welcome to this Baco Insider Special of the 2014 Western Michigan University Football Signing Day. 27 players have signed national letters of intent to play football and attend school at Western Michigan University. It's a big day. I'm Robin Hook, voice of the Broncos, along with Matt Kanan from our media relations staff. Matt, uh, big day for Western Michigan football. Huge day, Robin. The class who kept coming, 7 o'clock a.m., faxes. Faxes are going, whirring around. 8 a.m., Chicago guys come in. It was really nonstop action in the staff room for Coach Fleck and his staff. First one in, Wyatt Pfeiffer, long snapper. First guy to get his national letter of intent in. Number two, Chance Stewart. The last one to come across, Lonnie Johnson, former Ohio State commit, now coming to Western Michigan. That made it 27 out of 27 for Coach Fleck and his staff, who did just a phenomenal job putting this entire group together. Definitely. And they're now part of the team. Robin, let's go ahead and meet the team. Let's okay. do it. Go ahead, touch that. Robin's touching our new touchscreen interactive board, Western Michigan Football, one of only four programs in the country to have one of these displays in their facility. Obviously, here's our current team as we sit heading into the 2014 season. Let's go ahead and touch WMU NSD 14, Western Michigan National Signing Day 2014. We're going to go ahead and break it down. First, we're going to break it down by ranking. Where does this class rank in the history of not only Western Michigan but also the Mid-American Conference? Next we're going to look at the three-star student athletes that are coming to campus. Then we'll go by geography and finally we'll uh, break down the class by position. So let's go ahead and take a look real quick. Robin, if you could go ahead and touch that last picture. The second to left, there you go. Here's our recruiting class as it ranks right now with Rivals.com. Now if you look from 2002 all the way to 2014, this is the top ranked class for the Mid-American Conference every year. Previous high in the conference, 62, Kent State in 2009. That group of freshmen took their team to the MAC championship game. Robin, take a look where we were in 08, 65th. 65th in the country in 2008, some really good players out of that class. But then you come and you see Toledo, which did very well in 10, 11, 12, and 13 with a top rated class in the Mid-American Conference, but not this year. Coming in at number 58, according to Rivals.com, this 2014 class of 27 players for P.J. Fleck in Western Michigan. And according to Rivals representatives who are on uh, campus right now, they said that could climb even higher as the uh, day goes on. The official classes won't be set and ranked until about noon Eastern time. Right, so outstanding and it's great to see WMU on the top because to win Mid-American Conference Championships, you need great players. And as you can see, these teams that are right in the hunt have the best recruiting classes. And now you see Western Michigan in that position right now. And uh, the future is very bright for the Broncos. Rob, you've been here for quite a while, been calling games, the, the voice of the Broncos, as he is called. How good does it feel, ob feel, obviously, for Coach Fleck and his staff to not only be the top-ranked uh, class in the history of the MAC, but to kind of knock off Mac West rival in Toledo. Well, Toledo's done a great job in recruiting football talent in the last several years, along with Northern Illinois. And Coach Fleck recruited a lot of those players that helped Northern Illinois go to an Orange Bowl just a couple of years ago. So uh, he knows what he's doing. He put this group together early, and they stay together throughout the recruiting process. Most of these guys have been committed for a long time, Matt, and uh, they stayed true to their commitments. And you know, Coach Fleck talked about this after the the class was secured. You know, back at the end of last year, uh, in the spring, when we were ranked very highly, uh, people thought, oh, fine, that's great, but it's, it's the summer, you know, get him to sign. Well, he got him to sign, and he didn't lose anybody. How's that for a first full class? That was outstanding. Nobody wavered. Uh, everybody was true to their commitment. They had these guys lined up and ready to go, and the fax machine was going like crazy all morning long. It was a lot of fun to see and to celebrate a truly remarkable recruiting class for Western Michigan football fans. And a lot of these guys are going to play right away. Coach has said it. We're going to be a young team on the field in 2014. But you know what? Those young guys in 14, they're sophomores in 15. In 16, they're juniors. They got that, that game experience and that fire, and they're, they've done it together. Let's talk about stars. You know, a lot is made of the stars, two stars, three stars, four stars, five stars. Well, Western Michigan has uh, done very well in that regard. As we check out the three-star selections, no four-stars for Western Michigan, but look at all the three-stars for the Broncos, 16 of them, according to 247.com. 
far and away the most in the Mid-American Conference. The next closest would be the Toledo Rockets and Buffalo with uh, five or six uh, three-star guys, Matt. Yeah, it looks pretty good, Robin, when you have double, I mean, the stars almost go off the screen. Right? <laughs> yeah, we don't have a big enough we screen. Have, we gotta get, it's, it's 96 inches and 48 <laughs> inches. We gotta get another 48 inches. But you're right, Buffalo, Toledo. Two teams, one team that's been a perennial power, Buffalo, a team that's on the rise. They have six three-star recruits. Each one of these stars represents one three-star recruit. According to 24-7 Sports, 16. You want to talk a little bit about a couple of those three-stars, three maybe Chance Stewart? Well, Chance Stewart's probably the pinnacle of the recruiting class. Not only was he one of the first three-stars to commit, he's helped to recruit a lot of these other players. He's a 6'5 quarterback from Sturgis, Michigan. Uh, prototypical drop back guy but he can run around a little bit too and and Chance is a, a tremendous athlete not only does he play football he's a, a very accomplished uh, basketball and baseball player he chose to stay and play his senior year of basketball and baseball and he'll come in in the summertime ready to go and compete for that starting quarterback job one of the other top rated players would be Lonnie Johnson he's out of Merrillville Indiana this is a guy who can play anywhere on the field, probably start at wide receiver for Western Michigan, and to add to that group of receivers that are already in place here. And Lonnie Johnson was committed to the Ohio State Buckeyes and then decided to uh, flip, and Coach Fleck got involved with Lonnie. They developed a real tight bond, and Lonnie committed to Western Michigan and signed his national letter of intent earlier today. And you want to talk about guys that were being sought after by major BCS programs. I got one word, one name. It's going to be one name, Bronco fans. Chooks. Chooks Okorafor is a 6'5", 280-pound offensive tackle from Southfield. And uh, this young man has not played football very long, only three years of football. But uh, he committed to Western Michigan early from Southfield and stayed true to his commitment, even though programs like Oklahoma, Florida, Arkansas, Iowa, Ohio State came calling. He stayed true to Western Michigan, and Chooks Okorafor is going to play tackle for the Broncos very soon. Very, very soon. And you know, we will talk about the uh, the breakdown of the positions um, in a little bit. But obviously, offensive line was a big part of the 2014 class. Now, Coach Fleck always talks about the six-hour radius recruiting inside that six hour radius. He may dabble a little bit in the south in Florida and Georgia and maybe out east a little bit, but he's going to bring kids that are from the area, from the state of Michigan, Indiana, Illinois, Ohio, to Kalamazoo, keep them in the area. And that's exactly what he has done with this class. Robin, I don't know if you know this, 74% of the 2014 class within that six hour radius. And the thing I love is 12 from the state of Michigan. Western Michigan, had kind of stepped out of the state of Michigan and was down in Florida doing a lot of recruiting in the past few years, but not anymore. Coach Fleck and his staff got back into the Michigan high schools and found 12 outstanding players, all on the Detroit News blue chip list of top 60 players in the state, and many of them in the upper half of that group of the Detroit News players, uh, best in the state of Michigan. And it's great to see, led by guys like Chance Stewart and Chooks Akora for and Nick Maddich, who's a defensive tackle from Clarkson, Michigan, uh, just uh, one of several from the state. Jordan Billingsley was a teammate of Chooks Okorafor at Southfield. He's an outstanding slot type receiver and he'll be here at Western Michigan. Um, you've got some big offensive linemen too, Matt, uh, that are jumping in from the state. Uh, Curtis Doyle is from Alma, chose Western Michigan, and uh, Another big lineman that the Broncos can count on down the road. And another one who didn't play lineman uh, in high school, Jordan Van Dort from Zeeland West. He just, all he did was win a state title. Tight end. The guy has huge hands. He's very mobile, very versatile, very athletic. He's going to come in and play possibly center or somewhere else on the offensive line for the Broncos. Yeah, he's big, very athletic, and can move. And uh, uh, I think they have him slated to play at a guard spot. So you look for Jordan Van Dort, and he was another one of those players highly recruited out of the state of Michigan and committed to Western Michigan earlier. They're really excited to have him. Another young man is Elliot Jordan. He's from East Kentwood. Uh, he's got a great frame. He's going to grow into that body of his and be an offensive tackle down the road. And we're talking about the state of Michigan. We are in the state of Michigan. This is our home. We want to keep state of Michigan kids in our home state. Robin, if we can just go ahead and don't mean to reach over here, but yep. let's talk about what Coach Fleck and his staff has done within the state in this recruiting class alone. 
These are your Division I FBS programs that are all having signing days, celebrations today. Well, in the state of Michigan, nobody's celebrating more than Western Michigan. 13 signees of the 27 from our home state. More than Central Michigan, more than Eastern Michigan, more than Michigan State, and more than Michigan. We've got a couple of tight ends, too, from the state, and the tight end area was an area that uh, the Broncos needed to really uh, work to add some depth, and they found two in Chris McDaniel, one of uh, the Detroit players coming to Western Michigan out of Cass Tech, and the other tight end is Lucas Bezeha, who is from Troy. He's a stretch the field kind of guy who can get out on the, um, on the edge and uh, get down the field down that seam and catch some touchdowns from uh, the Bronco quarterbacks. One other note about the uh, signees from the state of Michigan, also according to Rivals, you know, their Rivals ranks the top 30 in the state. Western Michigan has six of the top 30, more than everybody else on this list as well. So the fact that we're not only getting student athletes from our home state, but you're getting elite student athletes from our home state, they now, they don't want to go to the other pro Division One programs that happen to be in our state. They want to come to Kalamazoo, they want to play for Coach Fleck, and they want to be a part of this rebuilding of this foundation. One of the toughest positions to recruit for at this level is defensive tackle. They're just really hard to find, and the Broncos got a great one in Ken Finley from Muskegon. This guy is a true athlete, big, powerful player at 6'3", 285 pounds, and we look forward to seeing Kenny Finley in a Bronco uniform. All right, Robin, now that we've got a chance to break down the, ge or, yeah, the geography of this class, let's take a look at the, the breakdown of the positions. Obviously, we've, you know, we had some attrition uh, during the offseason with graduation. You know, it happens every year in, in college football. And we talked earlier, five offensive linemen, but where else, what else stands out to you um, on either on the offensive de defensive side? Well, I think you start with the linebacker position because all three linebackers that started last year are gone. They were all seniors, so they needed linebackers to come in right away uh, with the ability to play. And you talk about Jason Silva, who comes from the East Coast. He's going to plug right in there to the Mike linebacker spot. A uh, big, strong, 6'3", 250-pound linebacker who's played two years of college football at the junior college level. He was a second-team All-American, and he's going to slide right into that Mike linebacker spot and play right away for Western Michigan. Talk a little bit about Robert Spillane. He has a good pedigree. Robert Spillane has a relative who went to Notre Dame and won the Heisman Trophy. This guy comes from Chicago. He's all about linebacker. Robert Spillane going to fit right in very nicely and uh, has that size that you're looking for in the linebacker spot. Another one comes from the junior college ranks, and that's Jakeven Jackson. And this guy has the, the great numbers, too, as far as the, the physical uh, body makeup that can come right in and play, Matt. Yeah, and you know, Coach mentioned earlier today, you know, you need size, you need speed, you need to be able to move sideline to sideline. And we had some great kids um, as a part of our linebacking core in 2013 and before, but when you have that size and speed, it only helps bolster that front size and that you need to have pressure. Jakeven Jackson was rated as a three-star by rivals and 24-7. He uh, can run the field. He's got the good body, 6'3", 230 pounds, so that's great size for a linebacker to play in the Mid-American Conference. And the fourth linebacker is Delshawn Phillips, who is a side-to-side -side guy one of the Detroit area recruits for Western Michigan, and he's a great addition to this 27-member class for 2014. Let's move to the offensive side of the ball. Stands out here down at the bottom of the screen. Well, running three, three running backs that all are a little bit different. Uh, Jamari Bogan comes from New Jersey, where he was the 2011 Gatorade Player of the Year in the state of New Jersey. He scored 52 career touchdowns. He's more of that scat back type uh, a uh, smaller guy who can really find the creases and take it the distance for you. Really excited about uh, Jamari Bogan. And let's talk about Leo Ekwoji. Leo Ekwoji is a young man from Maryland who had uh, a lot of uh, people interested in him, but he was injured in the very first game of the season uh, and uh, tore up his knee. So. Uh, a lot of people dropped off of Leo, but not Western Michigan. He probably would have been a big-time recruit had he not been injured. Uh, Leo Ekwoji is going to come in and, and be one of those in-between backs. He's, he's not the biggest back. He's not the smallest back, but uh, he's a real quality running back. And when he's healthy, he's going to really 
uh, fortify that running back spot for Western Michigan. The third running back is Jarvian Franklin from Tinley Park, Illinois, and he is the prototypical big back, six feet, 220 pounds. He's that power back that the Broncos haven't had maybe since Robert Sanford. And that's going back a ways. That that's, is going that's, back a ways. That's a, that's, you were just a young pup <laughs> back then, but you're right. You need to have you need to have a running back that can not only get outside but can get you that one, two, three yards when you need it, um, either on the goal line or looking for a first down. Let's move inside. A um, couple tight ends. Um, it's very important. They help you stretch the field. They can be additional blocking for pass and for run, and we need some help. They're both from Michigan. Uh, Lucas Bezea is from Troy, Michigan. He's here. He enrolled in uh, January at the university, and he will be involved in spring practice. Uh, Coach Flex says this guy is a stretch the field kind of tight end and could probably step right in and play right now if the Broncos were uh, ready to play a football game. He's that good. He's got the size you want to see at tight end at 6'4", 242 pounds. So Lucas Bezeja is here and ready to go for uh, Coach Flex and the Broncos. The other tight end is Chris McDaniel. He is from the Detroit area, another 6'4 guy that the Broncos think can really add some depth at that tight end position. Defensive line, uh, a lot of people excited about the likes of, uh, say, Nick Maddich, Clarkston, Michigan. Um, what do you see out of him? He's a three-star kid out for, by Rivals and ESPNScouts.com. Um, another state championship member. What can he do for us? Well, Nick, Nick's just a winner, and Coach Flex says he's the best player at Clarkston High School, and they've got tremendous tradition there at uh, Clarkston. He's 6'2", 300 pounds. Again, those defensive tackles are really the hardest to find at this level because there's just not a lot of 18-year-olds that are 290 or 300 pounds. Well, Nick Maddich is going to come right in and uh, help that uh, defensive tackle technique that the Broncos like to play and uh, it was really an area of need and uh, Nick Madge is a great get for Western Michigan. There were a lot of programs that wanted him. All the Mid-American Conference schools were on Nick and uh, some Big Ten programs as well. And He stayed true to Coach Fleck and uh, he'll be a Bronco in the fall. Now not everybody always looks at this. You never look at it during the game. We, we signed a long snapper. It's very important to have a very important piece of a program, and Wyatt Pfeiffer is an All-American at it. He is. He played in that uh, Army All-American game, one of the top two or three long snappers in the country, and he was this, the first to get his letter from 10 in this morning at 7.01. So uh, he has uh, tremendous technique at the long snapper position, which really is a, a lost art, and finding guys that can get that ball back to your place kicker and punter is uh, something that's very valuable and Wyatt's going to step right in and be that guy for the Broncos. Well obviously you mentioned uh, Wyatt won that uh, the first facts award this morning so as we we've broken down the class everybody signed, sealed, delivered, they're going on with their day, the coaches are going on with the rest of their signing day festivities when you think about it what will Bronco fans look back at this class about what stands out? Well I think uh, the one thing that stands out to me is how together this group is, Matt, because they kind of jump into the boat together, so to speak, with Coach Fleck, and they stay together. They visited campus together. They've been together for a long time, and they really get what it's all about. And I think that that bond that this group has, has developed is, is pretty special. And then there's some late adds to this recruiting class. Guys like Alan Sims, who comes from Florida, and uh, Javante Seabury, two guys that we didn't talk about. They're outside of that six-hour radius that we talked about here, down here in Florida. But Coach Flex said he wasn't going to abandon that area. And he went down and got some speed and some athleticism in Alon Sims, who will play safety at Western Michigan, and Javante Seabury, Matt, who could be a guy that uh, you line up in the backfield, you line up at wide receiver, or he returns kicks and punts with that 4-3 speed of his. And Coach mentioned uh, when we were watching the highlights this morning, that's not on fast, fast forward. That's his <laughs> real speed. So quickness on the outside, quickness in the return game, always important. Obviously, it's been a very exciting morning, Robin. It's going to continue to be ex exciting uh, within this uh, complex and within this program. And uh, Bronco fans, you can watch the official Western Michigan Signing Day press conference. Uh, today, this afternoon, 
at 2.30 p.m. It'll be available on WMBBroncos.com. Uh, we'll have video highlights of every signee. All 27 signees will be on WMBBroncos.com. Full official bios of all of our signees. Everything you need to know about the 27, the record-breaking, history-making 2014 National Signing Day class will be at WMEBroncos.com. For Robin Hook, the voice of the Broncos, I'm Director of Media Relations, Matt Kanan. Thanks for watching. Go Broncos and row the boat. Row the boat.